Hello, Dan here with another interesting robot. This is a forearm delta robot. Put a tool in here. This is soft plastic so you can add holes to attach different things if you want or you can design something new and 3D print it. Um, I'm looking for suggestions so if you've got a way to improve this I ramble. Um, we've got 15 millimeter screws in here and in here and we have a 20 millimeter screw running through here with a nut on one end. The hole on one side is hexagonal which captures the nut and makes it easy to insert. I put these rods in these end pieces then I attach the end pieces to the elbows or the wrist, it's the same piece either way and then I attach the elbow to the bicep and the elbow to the end effector. And when I've got all of those assembled, then I use another M15, uh, 15 millimeter screw to tighten this uh, bicep onto the, the servo. Notice that the servos, the motors are all turned so that the, the shaft is at the top end. That gives you enough room to move downward. And then I, this is a friction fit. You just squeeze these into place and they'll hold. And because there's four of them, it's very, very stable. Uh, I've added extra holes here, so if you, if you want to, you can run a zip tie all the way around. Uh, or if you prefer, you can put a screw through here uh, and then mount the whole thing upside down. And uh, I don't know if you can see that well, but that holds pretty well. The circuit here is simply drawing um, four, four PWMs to the white line on each servo. It's bringing 5 volt current to the red line on each servo and ground, the black line, is coming from the black line on each servo and is also going back into ground on the Arduino to make sure that there's a solid connection. I have in the past run the 5 volt power and ground directly off the Arduino but you get less power and you're more likely to, if you push too hard on this, or you push back on it too hard, you can cause the circuit here to, uh, the board to reset in the middle of doing something important. That would be bad. Uh, most people have said they don't need this, these components, so I don't include them. Um, but if, if you're watching this in the future and you're saying, hey, I don't have a breadboard, I don't have these little bits, be sure to add those to your inventory before you check out. Uh... What else do you need to know? Um, I find this very handy. This is a three-way splitter. Um, I only really need the two. And this means with a single connection, I can plug in a 5-volt 2-amp power supply, and I get enough juice to run everything. Uh, then this will all run off G-code by plugging an Arduino uh, USB cable into the Arduino here and then plugging that into my PC. The software is all available at marginallyclever.com on the web page for the three arm and the four arm Delta robots. When you load uh, the code for a particular robot, you'll have to change in the code how many arms there are. It's a one number change and then it should understand everything. Based on how you assemble this, you may have to remeasure your lengths so that the mathematics are correct and you get the expected the movement that you expect to see they can have a big influence on how precise your uh, final output will be and that's important uh, this model is a big improvement over the previous because in the old model I was using uh, ball joints from um, helicopter kits RC helicopters and these connectors couldn't turn far enough. Um, so this model has a much greater range of motion using the same code as before. And that, I think, yeah, it's just better overall. It's, it's sturdier, it's safer, uh, it's more accurate, and it should do a good job. So I hope you find this educational. I hope you find this entertaining. I hope you find this useful. And if you have any comments or suggestions or feedback, I really look forward to hearing from you and seeing what great things you're able to do with your creations. Thank you, have a great day, and uh, please share this with your friends. 
I'd, uh, I'd really appreciate that. Talk to you later.